My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I'm standing a few feet away from this car because I want you to see how gorgeous it is. This thing's a little firecracker. You got beautiful body lines, orient red, chrome wire wheels, black leather upholstery with the red piping. This is one beautiful little sports car and they're very affordable. This is a great, let's say entry level car, but even if you've got a big car collection, it's still an awesome car to have, but they're easy to work on, inexpensive to maintain, inexpensive to purchase, and this is gonna turn some heads, beautiful car. Uh, and along with it, we have all this documentation for restoration that's been done, a bunch of itemized receipts. It looks like it was restored from 2017 to 2019, so it's pretty fresh. And then here's a little flash drive right here. I just plugged into my computer, and there's a whole bunch of pictures. The car stripped down to a shell, the fenders off of it, the interior gutted, the dash out of it, the heater box taken apart, the clutch and brake pedal assembly was out. All of that was restored and it's all documented. And this is from the Claude O estate. We bought 25 of his cars recently. Um, he had a full-time mechanic maintaining his collection. His wife told me that he wanted to be able to drive any car at any time. So the cars we've been getting from him have been fantastic. They're not just neglected cars. Uh, they start right up, run beautifully, just like this one here does. So anyway, go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, look at the pictures, and you'll find the price tag on every one of our cars, along with a monthly finance option as well at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But that's top is down, let's go for a spin. Yeah, so underneath the car, uh, these have rack and pinion steering in front. Uh, the brakes were gone through, they're drum brakes. The front end components uh, have had work done. You can see some new cotter pins, new nuts and bolts. So it's been at least inspected. Whatever needed to be replaced was replaced. It has leaf springs in back. The fuel tank looks new. It's nice and shiny and smooth. Bottom of the motor is immaculate looking. The transmission is rebuilt. That's in the paperwork over there. So it's a rebuilt four speed transmission. Uh, they rebuilt the slave cylinder for the clutch. Um, the exhaust system's in real nice shape. It's a single exhaust, goes into a muffler, and two chrome tips come out the back. Uh, the chassis components are all nice and clean, painted black. The floor in this car, they're actually wood. The wood's completely solid. I'm sure it's been replaced. It looks excellent. Uh, so the body, like I said earlier, it was completely stripped down, uh, taken apart, all in pieces, and professionally restored. Uh, and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely straight. I don't see any issues with the body. The hood fits nice all the way around. You got this nice welting between the fender and the body. No damage, no, no body work starting to show, no bubbles, no cracking. Uh, it all looks to be in really nice shape. Tiny little scratches right there, two tiny ones. Beautiful, straight, no issues. And look at the lines too. Look at the curves, tail light, the sloping trunk. It's a sharp little sports car. Yeah, this is all beautiful. I'm gonna have to figure out how to open the trunk, trunk here in a minute. So the body's excellent. It's painted Orient Red. Uh, the chrome is redone, the grill, the bumper, the headlight bezels, the marker lights, it's all redone. In the pictures, they show all that laid out on a blanket or something. Uh, the little MGA inlets here are redone. Windshield's original, it's got some scratches. It's shiny chrome, has new rubber grommets. The convertible top, it's a black uh, convertible top. And the framework was all restored, repainted, and it also has the side curtain windows. Uh, everything's like new. Uh, back here, it's got this neat gas cap. I think this is a pop-up gas cap. 
or maybe you just, yeah, okay, it is a pop-up. The light, bumpers, tail lights, emblem, all that's mint. The wheels, they're new. That just makes the car. A lot of them just came with a steel rim with a little hubcap. That makes the car. Uh, they're knockoff wire wheels. They sparkle. Uh, classic radial tires on there. So the outside of the car is obviously beautiful. Uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. So the trunk opens from inside. There's just a little pull handle. It pops open. Now this has all been painted and restored. All clean, solid metal. They did not get the carpet kit. You can buy the carpet that just lays in there. Uh, <laughs> I actually think that's a crank for crank starting the engine if you ever needed to. That's funny. Here's the side curtain windows. They're actual uh, plexiglass that slide back and forth. They're in good original shape. This here is just a bag that they go in. Um, comes with a shop manual, a few extra little parts that come with it. But clean, solid, uh, just missing the carpet liner that lays in there. New weather strip. So door jams are painted, uh, door panels are replaced. There's that cable kind of hanging down in there. You pull that and that's what opens the door. The big chrome lever is actually for the side curtain window. Uh, and then you have pictures of this completely pulled apart. The gauges, uh, they're either brand new or they're restored. Uh, but all the knobs, bezels, heater control panel is the horn. Well, that's the key is off. So. I just honked, there we go. No, I just honked the horn. Pulling in here, I honked it. Uh, so it's all painted, all these strips are new. Got the four speed shifter on the floor. It's a new Moto Lita steering wheel. The seats are all rebuilt with new cushions, genuine leather, including the armrests. Carpet was all replaced. Then the engine compartment opens from inside, just like the trunk. There's just a little pull lever. And these are simple, basic cars. You got the rod to hold the hood or the trunk open. Uh, 1500 uh, cc four-cylinder motor, dual carburetors, and you can see the whole engine bay, the heater box. Everything is really nice looking. All proper, correct, painted up, detailed, beautiful motor compartment. around all different types of cars from the Duesenbergs to a Batmobile and Hemi Chargers a little sports car like this it's a completely different feeling and uh, I enjoy it just the sound they make and uh, I always I always picture myself for some reason on like a fall day with a hat and goggles and a scarf and cruising around with the top off uh, but fun little cars in today's world, not expensive at all. Actually, you're really getting your money's worth with this one. Uh, go to volocars.com. I gave you my impression. The salesman can help you. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance it. We'll get that in a second at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. And you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. And that horn is driving me nuts. I literally honked the horn as I pulled in here. Now it doesn't work. So remind the salesman to look at the horn. I have our shop. We will fix that, obviously. So, yeah, there you go. Gorgeous little sports car. Thanks for watching.
said, and I was 